it's a real important question to me about how long should you leave somebody on a drug therapy for after they've gone into a remission. And so we have good trial data and meta-analysis that show maintenance Revlimid is optimum treatment. It improves progression-free survival, it improves overall survival. But how long do you have to stay on it for? These days, people are having survivals out beyond 10 years. And so to be on a drug with side effects for 10 years is, is perhaps a challenge. And so importantly, going forward, we need to find what's the optimum duration of these maintenance strategies. And so we have very clear data that there is a real benefit for being on it for at least two years or beyond two years. And if we look beyond three years, there's still a benefit. And even beyond four years, there's sometimes a benefit. It's more difficult beyond four years for us to, to see it though. So one message is beyond the maintenance, really try and be on it for more than a year and out beyond four years if you can tolerate it. And I think what we'll start to see based on this data are trials of when you actually stop the maintenance treatment. So this question can be nailed down for patients because I've had a patient that was on it for 11 years plus and that, you know, he was starting to get tired, infections at the end of the month and side effects that he really shouldn't have been having because, you know, we want to fix quality of life for patients as well as duration of life.